In this video you'll learn. What is lathe machine? Parts. Types. Operations. Accessories. And attachments of lathe machines. The lathe is defined as the machine tool, which is used for different machining operation. Lathe is a machine that holds the workpiece on a chuck and tool on a tool post. The lathe machine rotates workpiece about an axis to perform different operations such as turning, facing, chamfering, thread cutting, knurling, drilling and more. These operations are performed with the tools that are applied to the workpiece to design an object with symmetry about that axis. The main function of a lathe is to remove the metal from a workpiece to give a required size and shape. The tool is held still and a workpiece is rotating about an axis rotation to perform various operations with the help of different tools. Parts of lathe machine The main parts of lathe machine are bed, headstock, carriage, feed rod, tailstock, hand wheel, tool post, saddle, compound rest, and lead screw. The lathe bed is the base of the machine which has a solid structure. It should be provided under heavy pressure. On top of the bed, there has the V-type of guideways that include the angle of 90 degrees. There are two guideways provided to the bed, which are accurately machined to make them parallel axis. Headstock is located on the left-hand side of the lathe bed. It has a hollow spindle and the different types of mechanism for driving and changing the speed of the spindle. Tailstock is located on the right-hand side of the lathe bed. The tailstock supports the other end of the workpiece when it is machining between two centers. It holds the tool rigidly and perfectly for performing operations. And it can move along the guideways and can clamp in any position on the bed. The carriage is the most important parts of the lathe tool. It will serve as a supporting, moving and controlling part of the cutting tool. The carriage is consists of saddle, cross slide, compound rest, and a tool post. Feed rod is a long shaft having a keyway extends from the feed box across and in front of the bed. The power is transmitted from the lathe spindle to the apron gears through the feed rod. Lead screw is a long threaded shaft used for only thread cutting operation. It may also be used to give the motion for turning, boring, etc. Types of lathe machines. There are seven different types of lathe machine were used, which are speed lathe machine, engine lathe machine, bench lathe machine, tool room lathe machine, capstan and turret lathe machine, special purpose lathe machines, and automatic lathe machine. Speed lathe machine. Speed lathe machines are simple in construction. It has a bed, headstock, tailstock and tool post. But there is no feed box, lead screw or carriage in this machine. The tool is mounted on the adjustable slide and is fed into the work purely by hand control. The headstock construction is very simple. It has only two or three spindle speed available. Speed lathe machine has less depth of cut light force and high speed to use for woodworking spinning centering and polishing the name speed lathe has been given for its very high speed of the headstock spindle engine lathe machine engine lathe is the most widely using lathe machine these machines are driven by the gear mechanism or pulley mechanism the name engine lathe is given because of the earlier lathe were driven by steam engines Engine lathe machine has all the parts similar to that of speed lathe. The headstock of an engine lathe is rigid in construction and has got an additional mechanism to get multiple spindle speeds. The engine lathe can feed the cutting tool in both cross and longitudinal direction. With the help of a carriage, 
feed and lead screw. This types of lathe machines are still using in workshops and many industries. It has additional three types. That is belt driven, motor driven, gear head type. Bench lathe machine. Bench lathe machines are small in size and it is used for a very small precision work. These machines are mounted on the bench. It has all the similar parts of engine lathe and speed lathe. Bench lathe machine performs almost all the operations of engine lathe and speed lathe. Its only difference is being small in the size. Toolroom lathe machine. Toolroom lathe machine is the same as that of engine lathe. It provides a wide range of speed. The spindle speed range is from very low to a quite high speed up to 2500 revolutions per minute. Toolroom lathe is costlier as compared to the engine lathe. It is mainly using in grindings, working on the tool, dies gauges and in machining work where is accuracy is needed. Capstan lathe and turret lathe. Capstan lathe and turret lathe machines are used in production work. These lathe machines are the development of the engine lathe. These machines provided by hexagonal turret head instead of the tailstock. It also consists of three tool posts, where multiple tools may be fitted and fed into the work in the proper sequence. The main advantage is that different operations and parts can produce in very less amount of time. Capstan and turret lathe requires more force space than other lathe machines and is used for only large jobs. Special Purpose Lathe Machines As the name implies these types of lathe machines used for the special purpose and for production work. In this lathe, special operations are performed such as drilling, grinding, reaming, boring etc. The special purpose lathe machines are wheel lathe machine, gap bed lathe machine, T lathe machine, duplicating lathe machine, missile lathe machine, automatic lathe machine. In these type of lathe machines, all the work is done automatically. These are the high speed heavy duty production lathes. In automatic lathe machines, once the tool is set, it performs all the operations automatically to finish the job. Here the change of tools and feed are also automatic. A single operator can control 5 to 6 automatic lathe machines at a time. Lathe machine operations. Lathe machine operations done by holding workpiece between centers. Turning. Turning is the most common type of operation. It is the operation of removing the excess material from the workpiece to produce a cylindrical surface to the desired length. The job held between the center or a chuck and rotating at a required speed. The tool moves in a longitudinal direction to give the feed towards the headstock with proper depth of cut. In straight turning, the workpiece is held on the chuck and it is made to rotate about the axis. It produces a cylindrical surface by removing excess metal from the workpiece. Rough turning, is the process of removal of excess material from the workpiece in minimum time, by applying high rate feed and heavy depth of cut. When a workpiece has different diameters and is to be turned, the surface forming steps from one diameter to the other diameter than it is called the shoulder, and machining this part of the workpiece is called shoulder turning. Taper, is the uniform increase or decrease in the diameter of the workpiece and measured along with its length. Taper turning is done to produce a conical shape, by a gradual reduction in diameter from a cylindrical workpiece. Facing. Facing is an operation of reducing the length of the workpiece by feeding the perpendicular to the lathe axis. This operation of reducing a flat surface on the end of the workpiece. Regular turning tool or facing tool may use for this operation. 
the cutting edge of the tool should set to the same height as the center of the workpiece. Chamfering Chamfering is the operation of getting a beveled surface at the edge of a cylindrical workpiece. This operation is done in case of bolt ends and shaft ends. Chamfering helps to avoid damage to the sharp edges and protect the operation getting hurt during other operations. Chamfering on bolt helps to screw the nut easily. Knurling Knurling is an operation of obtaining a diamond shape on the workpiece for the gripping purpose. This is done to provide a better gripping surface when operated by hands. It is done using a knurling tool. The tool consists of a set of hardened steel roller, and it is held rigidly on the tool post. Thread cutting Thread cutting is the important operation in the lathe to obtain the continuous, helical grooves, or threads. When the threads are formed on the outer surface of the workpiece is called external thread cutting. When the threads are formed on the inner surface of the workpiece, then it is called internal thread cutting. The workpiece is rotating between the live center and dead center of the lathe. Grooving Grooving is the process of reducing the diameter of a workpiece over a very narrow surface. It is done by a groove tool. The grooving tool is similar to the parting off tool. It is often done at the end of a thread or adjacent to a shoulder to leave a small margin. Forming Forming is the process of turning a convex, concave or of any irregular shape. Form turning may be accomplished by the different method like using a forming tool, combining cross and longitudinal feed, tracing or copying a template. Lathe machine operations performed by holding the work by a chuck or a faceplate or an angle plate are Drilling Drilling is the operation of producing a cylindrical hole in a workpiece. It is done by a rotating tool. The rotating side of the cutter is known as drilling drill. In this operation, the workpiece is revolving in a chuck and the drill is held in the tailstock or drill holder. Reaming Reaming is the operation of finishing and sizing a hole, which has been already drilled or bored. The tool is used is called the reamer, which has multi-plate cutting edges. The reamer is held on the tailstock spindle, either directly or through a drill chuck and is held stationary while the work is revolved at a very slow speed. Boring Boring is the operation of enlarging the hole which is already drilled, punched or forged. It cannot produce a hole. Boring is similar to the external turning operation and can be performed in a lathe. In this operation, the workpiece is revolved in a chuck and the tools which are fitted to the tool post is fed into the work. Tapping Tapping is the operation of cutting internal threads of small diameter using a multipoint cutting tool called the tap. In a lathe, the work is mounted on a chuck or on a faceplate and revolved at a very slow speed. A tap of required size held on a special fixture is mounted on the tailstock spindle. Lathe Machine Accessories the lathe machine accessories are used for holding and supporting the workpiece and also for holding the tool. The important lathe accessories are Centers Chucks Collets Angle plates Face plates Mandrels And catch plates and carriers. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more engineering content.